ketones are compounds that contain what is called a carbonyl functional group, which is very similar to the formal functional group of aldehydes. The difference being that the carbonyl functional group allows for the carbon chain to extend on either side of it, where we have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, but carbons can be attached on either side of that carbonyl group. Any compound that contains this carbonyl group is called a ketone and gets the suffix anone, and the same naming conventions apply where we start by identifying the longest chain that contains that functional group. In this case, that is five carbons, and therefore this is pent, and it would be pentanone, but it is important to indicate the position of that carbonyl group, and we can see that this is on the second carbon. We need to count from the side that makes that number the smallest, so we call this pentan to O. It is important to keep in mind that when this carbon double bonds to an oxygen, it already has four bonds, so it is not necessary to draw another hydrogen on. We can then do a slightly more complicated example where here we start once again by identifying the longest carbon chain that contains that functional group. Again, do not be confused by a bend in that chain. The longest chain here, meth, eth, prop, but, pent, hex, hept. So we know that this is going to be heptanone, but it is important once again to number from the side that makes this the smallest number. So we are going to call this heptan 3 own and then identify one methyl branch and two fluoro branches. Alphabetically, the fluoro branches should be placed first, and those fluoro branches are both on the fifth carbon. So we call this 5,5 difluoro, di, to indicate the fact that there are two fluorines attached both on the fifth carbon and six methyl heptan 3 ohm. It is important to see here that this is very similar to an aldehyde, but you would never have a pentan 1 ohm because if it was 1 ohm, that would mean that the carbonyl group is on the first carbon, which would make it an aldehyde. So a ketone will never have a 1 in it because if it had a 1 it would then be an aldehyde because aldehydes have the formal group placed on the first carbon.